Hello, I'm Jerry Ford, the beer review guy. Um, I have uh, a sinus headache today. <laughs> so um, I'm not doing an, a, uh, an, al an alcohol um, beverage this time. Maybe later on if my, if my headache goes away. Um, but for right now, I'm going to do um, another drink. <clears throat> First off, um, probably most of everybody, of course, in in uh, in the U.S. has heard of the Cracker Barrel restaurants. They're I think they're pretty much nationwide. Well, not nationwide, but statewide. They're probably in every state at least one. Um, you know, we have like three or four in. Well, we probably have at least two or three in Tul in Tulsa alone. So in Oklahoma, they're mass, you know, restaurants. But anyway, uh, uh, Cracker Barrel is a, a pretty good sized restaurant. It's uh, family based. Um, they are kind of like an old fashioned uh, restaurant, um, and they have a store that has all kinds of, like every holiday that comes around, they'll have you know. Easter stuff out, they'll have Christmas stuff out, they'll have Halloween stuff out, St. Patrick's Day, they put all these themed, you know, holiday type decoration gifts and stuff out, and they'll have all kinds of old candies, all kinds of old cookies, um, drinks, um, of course not alcohol, not alcoholic beverages, but um, old, old style drinks from the old days, and uh, just and I already said candies, but they really focus a lot on different, like, old candies. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, and then they have um, patriotic, you know, hats and clothes. And and uh, they focus on, like, old car, you know, type things. Ford, Chevy, you know, Dodge, whatever. Calendars, magazines, CDs, old movies, um, old shows from the old days. Uh, so they're they're just a real entertaining type restaurant um unless you go there like every day then you get kind of sick of it but but uh, it's just a it's a very entertaining place and we went there the other night because i've been wanting to go um to uh to see what they had on drinks and uh they have a, a real nice selection of drinks and uh, this is one that i found uh, this is cracker barrel sack if you see it there just a little sack Here's the drink I found. It is called a Caruso's Dark Cream Italian Style Soda. Um, why I'm doing this one right now instead of the other, like, like find, like found, I found like ten or eleven, I think, of, of different drinks that I wanted to try. Um, there has not been a video review of this of this drink. So, um, I thought I would do this one first. Uh, it says right there, 100% real sugar. And that little Italian flag right there. Um, it has like a cinnamon and a vanilla flower. Cinnamon sticks and a vanilla flower there in the picture. But it sounds really good. Dark cream. Yeah, that really caught my attention. Caruso's tradition. To the Caruso family, tradition is a way of doing business that continues to prove there is no substitute for the quality that comes from family tradition. Our philosophy has been passed down for four generations, starting with the original Peter Caruso from Palmero, Italy, who was awarded Italian Citizen of the Year in Milwaukee. The Caruso legacy is the high standard of quality, hard work, and integrity we abide by to this day. Wit Beverage Company, made in the USA. <laughs> Warning, contents under pressure, cap may blow off causing eye or other serious injury, point away from face and people. Especially while opening. Is this not a twist off top? <laughs> That's kind of weird. Okay. 
Anyway, uh, ingredients is filtered carbonated water, sugar, maltodextrin, uh, artificial flavoring, caramel color, sodium benzo, yucca, yucca concentrate, citric acid, phosphoric acid, propylene glycerol alginate, and FDNC yellow, number five. All right, but yeah, here's the cap. It just looks like a really neat bottle. All right, let's uh, let's check this thing out. See first if it's a twist off tip. Okay, I guess it got a little hiss, but it didn't explode. Mmm, wow, boy, really caramely. Let's see what this thing's like. Wow, nice. It has a root beer appearance. <clears throat> has a lot of the same ingredients as what a root beer would. The head is about gone. It is an off-white, or was an off-white. The bubbles were glassy, um, very shiny. Very carbonated. Has a dark brown appearance like a root beer. Mmm. Caramel, vanilla. Cinnamon is very light on the aroma. Smells sweet. Mmm. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, that's pretty good. Very sweet, very sugary. 100% cane sugar. Oh, no, sorry. 100% real sugar. That's what that says. I don't know if I said that earlier. Um, very good. Uh, I'm getting the vanilla. The cinnamon is very light on the taste, too. Um, so I'm getting it very, very lightly. Um, it tastes like a, well, it says dark cream. So, dark cream soda. It does, get, it does give off the cream soda characters. Um, the dark part, I'm not totally sure about that unless they're talking about the cinnamon. <clears throat> The cinnamon part but they're not really heightened on the cinnamon part uh, yucca mm. I don't think I've ever eaten a yucca plant so I don't know maybe the caramel I'm getting a little caramel in there um, it's a good drink it's not as I was expecting it to be just a little bit better on how it looks and, and what they say about it. But there it is. Um, it's good. And I'm going to drink it. Um, <clears throat> I was expecting a little bit more of a wow factor off of it, but that's okay. Um, yeah, if you see it, if you go to a Cracker Barrel and you see this big old selection of, uh, of drinks in there, grab you a few of them, check them out. It's pretty good. All right, well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and we will see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, did I say this is the first review on this? My son says, yep, you did. Okay. All right. <laughs> see you. Bye.